In this lesson, we will discuss how the conic is formed as well as its definition and properties. A conic section, or simply conic, is formed when a plane intersects a double right circular cone. We have the upper nap and the lower nap. A line lying entirely on the cone is called generator. And the point where the generators intersect is the vertex. The vertical line passing through the vertex is called the axis of the cone. And these are the parts of a right circular cone. There are two types of conics. We have the generate conic, which has a point, a line, or two intersecting lines. The point, line, and two intersecting lines are obviously not curves, but are also possible results of the intersection of the plane and the double right circular cone. On the other hand, non-degenerate conic is either a parabola, a circle, ellipse, or hyperbola. These non-degenerate conics can be characterized by the number of generators which are parallel to a cutting plane. Remember, generators are lines lying on the cone. A parabola is formed if the cutting plane is parallel to one and only one generator. This plane is parallel to only one generator. Therefore, the curve of intersection is called a parabola. But if the cutting plane is not parallel to any generator, this plane is not parallel to two generators. Therefore, the curve of intersection is an ellipse. On the other hand, if the cutting plane intersects a double-napped cone and is parallel to two generators, the curve of intersection is hyperbola. We have a circle if the cutting plane is parallel to no generator, and again, this plane is not parallel to any generator, but this plane is perpendicular to the axis of the cone. That is why we have a circle. So those are the non-degenerate conics. We have a parabola if the cutting plane is parallel to one and only one generator. Ellipse if the cutting plane is not parallel to any generator. Hyperbola if the cutting plane intersects a double napped cone and is parallel to two generators. And a circle is formed if the cutting plane is also not parallel to any generator but perpendicular to the axis of the cone. They are termed conic sections because each is the intersection of a two napped cone and a plane. Depending on the manner on how the plane cuts the cone, the section produced is a parabola, ellipse, hyperbola, or circle. Now, eccentricity is the constant ratio. It tells us the amount of roundness of a curve. Given the eccentricity of a conic, denoted by E, the conic is parabola if the eccentricity is equal to 1, Ellipse, if the eccentricity is greater than 0, but less than 1. Hyperbola, if E is greater than 1. And if the eccentricity is equal to 0, it is a circle. History about conic sections. Conic sections were first studied by the ancient Greeks during 600 to 300 BC. They were discovered by the Greek Manichmus, tutor to Alexander the Great. It was Apollonius of Perga, a Greek geometer and astronomer, who gave the conic sections the names ellipse, parabola, and hyperbola.